Good afternoon. Yeah. This is Suchita, Indian Staffing Federation Executive Director. We are here to present Indian Staffing Federation's Social Impact Report 2023, which highlights the few, few below points. We are representing close to about 15 million, 1.5 million people, which is equivalent to 15 lakh people employed through our 120 members who are currently deploying contract staffing people across the various industries to name 65 industries. Collectively, there is uh, this industry represents about USD $16 billion of funds that uh, are contributed. Uh, almost 98% goes back as either ESI CPF or in the salary formats. The current report that we have released is very interestingly makes few observations. Close to about 63% of the people who are employed through the formal staffing companies would prefer to continue as a flexi worker. There is 19% of the people who are getting absorbed as permanent employment. There is close to about a 5% year-on-year growth that we have seen in the employment format, which is flexi employment, oblique contract employment, if I were to put it that way. Then if we are looking at the kind of employment that is coming, most of the people who are in the age group of 18 years to 30 years are the people who get their first time employment opportunity through a formal staffing company. These are the kind of benefits that the formal staffing company are bringing in as an impact and that is creating a social leverage for most of the people who do not get the opportunity to get a big brand job as a first layer because of the skill or the employability gap that they have and that is where the role of formal staffing companies comes into India at this point of time. Looking at just the Tamil Nadu, there is an Im immense focus that is coming from a skill perspective. Uh, our Honorable CM has announced that there will be close to about 3 lakh students who will be skilling, uh, who will be skilled to be deployed across industries and that's a very welcome message that we feel as an industry that is a very important uh, step that uh, any chief minister can possibly bring in and we are delighted to be able to support that kind of skilling to employment scenario in case that is the kind of roadmap that can be built into the picture. With that, thank you so much. This has been wonderful talking to you.